Now, South Africa, like most developing countries, is short of skills. Amongst the worst affected sectors is the chemicals industry. For a chat about what's required to plug the gap, we are now joined by Aisha Itzkin. She's acting CEO of the Chemicals Industry and Training Authority. Aisha, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Godfrey, for having me. I mean, we, we, we have this discussion back and forth. I mean, we, we, we're talking to, to Shaq now there about uh, the problems in the mining sector. We know that it's one also one of the sectors that's uh, affected by a shortage of skills, a shortage of qualified labor. On the chemicals front, how big is that gap and what are we doing to plug it? The gap generally across South Africa is huge. At this point in time, we are short of about 37,000 qualified artisans. So for the next 15 years or so, we need to produce that many a year. But you know, where we come from yeah. and where we are now, yeah. I mean, our apartheid past, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That really put the burden of not having the skills on this country. And as this is not an excuse. Yeah. This is not something that people co continue to say. You're talking about history yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. It's a fact. I know. I was going to say, yeah. in 1994, they were not there. They, the, the structures were not there. This is now almost 20 years later. So all these children who were born after that, all of them, they should be uh, trained artisans. Why are they not being trained? All right. All of them. I'll tell you why. We had about 35,000 artisans at the turn of 1990. Lots of them left, left the country, left True. all kinds of things. Yes. Around 1998, we had 3,000 artisans in this country. And to become an artisan at that time, because of where we'd come from, and because of job reservations, right. artisan training was a white privilege job. Right. So to bring that back and to make people excited about hands dirty skills, that's what artisan training is all about and artisanal skills. We need to make the youth happy about this. Yeah. Until today we still struggle because our whole history and background is about academic learning. Right. Go to university. So whose achieve. fault is it then, Ayesha? So how do we change this mindset? Yes, that's what we are level? trying is to do. Is it you? Is it your fault? It's all of us. It's school, it's us, it's career management. I don't talk career guidance, I talk career sure. management. Yeah. And what's begun to happen with our new Minister of Higher Education and Training, Dr. Bladen Zimande, I mean, that's the first time that we have such a department in government, which is called a Department of Higher Education and Training. Yeah. We've never had that before. Right. And since he's been in 2009, he has put into place something called a post-school education and training system. And that's not only for school children that leave school or leave early or drop out, yeah. but for parents, for anybody who wants to learn. Mm. And the enabling environment he's created yeah. with free bursaries to further education and training colleges. Yeah. Lots and lots, billions of friends of bursaries for, for school, for, for universities, for yeah. universities yeah. of technology. Yeah. 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 That is beginning to excite people. In within one year, he's raised the people, the entrance into FET colleges, for example, technical colleges, which were the place for those who can't make it at school. In but the are past. you getting the resources that you require to we've implement got, those ideas that are coming from the minister? We've got them. We've got our full industry, the chemical industry sectors made up of petroleum and base chemicals, fertilizers, pharmaceuticals. Everybody is excited about this. And just to, to show you how much we're doing, for the first time in the history of South Africa and the CETA world, yeah. we've got a national artisan skills competition concluded today, yeah. first time. Tomorrow night is a national prize giving. Among the 27 finalists, we, uh, finalists, we even have four women. Yeah. And it's wonderful. Yeah. So this is to show the youth, here is your chance. This is where you need to Let's be. Let's look for solutions. Dare I say that one group perhaps where work needs to be done is at the parent level. Because when we sit with our children and we say to them, what do you want to become when you grow up? Absolutely. We dream and we fantasize Absolutely. and we say all these other things. Yes. And yet we're not looking perhaps at the whole gamut of opportunities Absolutely. that are available, including Artisanship. Parent education, extremely important. What are you important. doing around that? Yeah, what we are doing is career fairs. We are going to parents, calling them in. Tomorrow night, we've got parents there as well yeah. to say, this is where your children should be. This is what is going to bring the bread onto the table. This is what's going to make the wheels of the economy run. Right. Without this, we can't do Engineers can't do the job. I must okay. tell you, they do okay. the brain work, yeah. but the hands work, they don't do. 
So okay. without ASEAN skills, we can't do it. But we are on the way there. OK, so you're saying you, with government, you're happy. I, this was really an opportunity for you to say to the minister, Minister, you're coming short on this one. But you're saying you're I happy. I can't say that to him. He's done a wonderful OK, job. you're happy. What about from the private sector? Private sector? What would sector, you like to see? Are you seeing enough? I, I'm seeing enough, but there could be more. What I would what like want? Them, uh, yeah, I would like them to open their workplaces for work experience. So a graduate. You mean people like me opening up and giving youngsters a, a chance not? to come in and work? Why not? Why not? Because, you know, you cannot have a full degree, a full qualification, if you've only got the theory part. You need the theory and the practical and the <laughs> workplace. So that is our challenge at yeah. this point in time.